Today, we've got a heartwarming story about BTS's I'M that's been melting the hearts of armies everywhere. Let's dive in. As many of you know, I'M enlisted in the military on December 11, 2023, along with fellow BTS member VM. Recently, I'm performed with his 15th Division Band at the 2024 Huichan Tomato Festival. And let's just say, there was a moment that had everyone talking. Photos and videos from the event started circulating, capturing a significant change in I'm's facial expression. When I'm arrived at rehearsal, he appeared serious and maybe even a bit unhappy. But then, something magical happened. As soon as he saw armies in the crowd, his entire demeanor changed. I'm's face lit up with joy, and he couldn't stop smiling. Check out these TikTok videos that have gone viral, with one garnering 98.1 thousand views, and another to 154.2 thousand views. Armies everywhere were touched by this moment, wishing they could get I'm out and discharge sooner. It's clear he misses his fans so much. What do you think about I'm's reaction to seeing armies? Today, We've got a serious topic to discuss involving GOT7's Mark Tuin and some shocking allegations against one of his staff members. Let's get into it. Recently, allegations have surfaced against a person allegedly on Mark Tuan's staff and a friend of his accusing them of using personal information to law in fans, including minors. This has reportedly been happening for years. It all started when a Typhon shared a screenshot of a message thread. The messages claimed that the sender was in Bam Bam's room and sent a photo which was blocked out for privacy. The fan who shared this information stated that this person has been deceiving women in multiple countries, using personal photos of Mark and his family without consent. This individual has allegedly been tricking women into relationships and keeping them quiet by claiming that fans wouldn't like their friend group. The person in question is named Calvin Fan. He has been associated with Mark for some time and was previously a magician. He has reportedly used personal photos of Mark and his family to get with girls, always without Mark's permission. One of the most disturbing aspects of this is that Fan has allegedly been sending these personal photos to underage girls. Rumors about a person close to Mark using him and Jackson Wan for personal gain have circulated since 2018, and fans believe this individual is the same person. After GOT7 left JYP Entertainment, each member focused on their solo careers. Mark returned to LA and established DNA management, which includes some of his friends from home. This decision has been controversial due to their past behavior. What do you think about these allegations against Mark Twan's staff member? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz around June Somi's new music video for Ice Cream and the allegations that it's a copy of Blackpink's MV. Let's get into the details. On August 2nd, Somi dropped her English single Ice Cream, marking her return after a year since her YPP game plan under the Black Label. From the get-go, the teasers for Ice Cream sparked debates and mixed opinions. Ice Cream is a vibrant dance track with a fast-paced beat and strong bass perfectly highlighting Somi's sweet and fresh melody. The song promises to be a summer hit, showcasing Somi's captivating performance skills. The MV features an ice cream truck with bright, summery colors. Somi transforms into a sizzling character, flaunting sharp visuals like a living doll. But what really got fans excited was the cameo appearance of Park SEO Jun. In just about 10 seconds of screen time, Park SEO Jun caused a sensation with his prince-like handsomeness. His cameo left viewers pleasantly surprised and added an extra sparkle to the MV. However, since the teaser was released, fans have accused Tomi's MV of copying Blackpink's ice cream collaboration with Selena Gomez from 2020. From the summer concept to the tropical elements, many details seem strikingly similar. Both artists are associated with YG Entertainment, which has led to fan backlash and intensified plagiarism allegations. The main difference in the MVs is the guest appearances of Park SEO Tune in Somi's version and Selena Gomez in Blackpink's. So, what do you think? Did Somi's ice cream MV really copy Blackpink's? Or is it just a case of similar themes? Today, we have some shocking news involving up 10 Tai and Swanghee. Allegations have surfaced about his alleged romance with a fan and we've got all the details right here. Let's dive in. On August 5th, an anonymous ex-account shared conversations that allegedly show Huang He dating a fan. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the fan community. The screenshots supposedly depict Huang He making plans to meet with the fan. The person alleged to be Huang He mentions other fans being around, 
indicating the secrecy needed for their meetups. Here, you can see the alleged messages where Huang He is coordinating a meetup. From discussing specific times to avoiding other fans, the details are quite explicit. In another part of the conversation, they discuss plans for meeting at home when no one else is around, adding a layer of intimacy to the alleged relationship. Further messages reveal a bit more personal interaction, with the fan expressing concern and Huang He reassuring her. It's these intimate details that have caught everyone's attention. One particularly damning piece of evidence is a conversation where Huang He allegedly sends photos to the fan, asking which one to post on social media. Two of these photos were indeed posted on his Instagram story in mid-June, adding credibility to the allegations. To top it off, the post also included a video of a person resembling Huang He. While the identity isn't confirmed, the resemblance has fans speculating. Huang He debuted with Up 10 Tian in 2015. The group has been inactive since the members left top media, and Huang He has been pursuing solo activities, including appearances on survival shows. What do you think about these allegations? Do you believe the evidence points to Huang He dating a fan? Or is it all just a big misunderstanding? Today, we have some interesting news about BTS Jimin's dad and his new merch line. Let's get into it. Jimin's dad, well known for his cafe magnate in Busan, recently launched a merch line called Millennial. The line features various BTS-related items, and netizens have had a lot to say about it. The merch includes references to BTS songs like Young Forever and Nevermind, as well as specific nods to Jimin. You will see phrases like Moki, Jimin's birth year, and moon imagery, which ties into his tattoos. The mascot is even a calico cat, another reference to Jimin. But here's where the controversy starts. Some of these items are priced quite high, with jewelry costing up to $300 USD, and even a simple hand fan costing $30 USD. Netizens were quick to express their shock at the high prices. Comments ranged from disbelief at the prices to confusion about the necessity of such expensive merchandise. It seems that while fans are generally okay with selling BTS-related goods, the high prices and the inclusion of Jimin Stad's autograph have left many puzzled. What do you think? Are these prices justified, or are they too high for BTS merch? Today, we're diving into the latest buzz around Blackpink's Ginny, and her recent Instagram stories that have sparked quite a reaction online. Let's get into it. Ginny is known for keeping her fans updated through Instagram, sharing glimpses of her life and supporting those close to her. On August 6th, she posted photos of her former manager, Jimin, who now works as the creative director at her company, Odotele. Ginny's posts were meant to celebrate and support Jimin, but not all fans were impressed. Some netizens have previously expressed negative feelings about Jimin and were not happy to see him featured on Ginny's Instagram, especially considering her recent lack of activity on the platform. While some fans were disappointed, others defended Ginny, pointing out that she wouldn't post about Jimin if she shared the same negative feelings. They emphasized that fans shouldn't assume or judge without knowing the real relationship. It's clear that Ginny values her relationship with Jimin and chooses to support him publicly. While some fans may have their opinions, it's important to respect her decisions and the people she holds dear. What do you think about Ginny's Instagram posts and the reactions from netizens? Do you think fans should be more understanding of her choices? Today, we have some shocking news about BTS's SUGA that you won't believe. According to the police on August 7th, SUGA was found drunk driving an electric scooter near the luxury residential complex 91 Hanum in Hanum Dom, Seoul. This incident took place around PM on August 6. SUGA was discovered by a task force officer from the National Police Agency who was patrolling near the presidential office. The officer found SUGA lying on the ground after he fell off his scooter. When the officer helped SUGA up, he noticed the smell of alcohol and took SUGA to a nearby police station for a breathalyzer test. The test revealed Sugar's blood alcohol concentration exceeded 0.08%, the level for license revocation. Interestingly, the task force officer did not recognize SUGA as a BTS member at the time of the incident. It wasn't until later that Sugar's identity was revealed. SUGA was riding an electric scooter without a seat, which complicates the legal proceedings. If considered a scooter with an internal combustion engine, 
SUGO could face the same investigation procedures as a car accident, including license revocation and additional penalties. However, if recognized as a normal electric scooter, he may only face license revocation and a fine of 100,001. SUG addressed the situation in a fan community post, stating, After drinking alcohol for dinner last night, I got home by riding an electric scooter. I violated the road traffic law due to my light thought that the distance was short and not realizing that using an electric scooter while under the influence of alcohol is prohibited. SUGA is currently fulfilling his military service as a social service worker after receiving a shoulder injury diagnosis in 2020. He enlisted at the Nansan Training Center in March and will be discharged in June 2025. What do you think about this incident involving SUGA? Today, we have some exciting news about an unexpected interaction between Blackwing's Hiso and actor Bayan Wusiok. Both Hiso and Bayan Wusiok are immensely talented and adored by fans globally. Hiso, with her captivating visuals and vocal prowess, and Bayan Wusiok, with his charming screen presence, make any news about them a hot topic. Let's dive into what happened during the VIP premiere of the movie Victory on August 5th. Premieres are always exciting and fans eagerly watch for interactions between their favorite stars. This premiere was no different, especially with Hiso and Bayan with Siok both in attendance. The internet went into a frenzy when netizens noticed that Hiso and Bayan with Siok were seated next to each other. Although their interaction was brief, it was enough to set social media ablaze. As Bayan with Siok took his seat, Hiso, who was initially talking to someone else, turned and they briefly acknowledged each other. This moment, though short, was filled with charm and excitement for fans. Neatizens couldn't get over the visuals in the frame, with many expressing their hope for more interactions between these two stars. Some even speculated that this might be their first meeting. Interestingly, they were probably seated together due to their mutual friendship with Hyori, along with actress Yung Ae Cho Yo, who was also in the row. Fans are now hoping for more interactions and even wishing for a potential acting project featuring both Hiso and Bayan with Sion. Imagine the chemistry and the visuals. It would be a dream come true. What do you think about this unexpected interaction? Would you like to see Hiso and Bayan with Sion in a drama together? Hello there. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some serious news to cover regarding BTS's SUGA, who has recently found himself in the middle of a major controversy. Just a few days ago, SUGA made headlines for being caught driving under the influence while riding an electric scooter. The incident has led to public outrage and significant media attention, both in South Korea and internationally. The news quickly spread beyond South Korea, with major outlets like the New York Times, Billboard, and the BBC picking up the story. This comes at a time when fans around the world were eagerly anticipating BTS's full group activities set to resume next year. Initially, Sugar's agency, Byte Music, referred to the vehicle involved as an electric kickboard, which sparked further controversy. Many felt this term was an attempt to downplay the severity of the incident, given that under South Korean law, electric scooters with seats are classified as vehicles and driving them while intoxicated is treated with the same seriousness as driving a car under the influence. In response to the backlash, Byte Music issued an additional apology, clarifying that they did not intend to minimize the seriousness of the situation with their choice of words. They acknowledged their mistake in not being more thorough and promised to fully comply with any legal responsibilities as determined by the authorities. The BBC in particular highlighted Sugar's status as an alternative service worker due to his previous shoulder surgery, and emphasized his public apology where he expressed his willingness to accept any disciplinary action that may come his way. SUGA is currently serving as a public service worker and is scheduled to be discharged in June 2025. Since the incident happened outside of his working hours, it's unlikely that he will face additional penalties from the military manpower administration. However, the legal repercussions and the public reaction have already taken a toll. What do you think about this incident and the agency's response? Do you think the situation was handled appropriately? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on this story and more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Hey Armies, 
Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a situation that's got the internet buzzing. BTS's OM recently posted an Instagram update to celebrate a major achievement, but the timing of it has stirred up some controversy. On August 7th, IM took to Instagram stories to celebrate his solo album Right Place Wrong Person ranking number 7 on the Genius Community's 25 Best Albums of 2024 so far. A huge accomplishment, right? But there was one problem. Arm's update came right in the middle of a scandal involving his fellow BTS member, SUGA, who had been caught driving an electric scooter under the influence. The internet was quick to react, and many criticized Arm for being insensitive or out of touch with what was happening. The backlash was so intense that Arm ended up deleting the story shortly after posting it. But here's where it gets interesting fans quickly jumped to his defense, pointing out some crucial details that might explain what happened. Firstly, Aim is currently serving his mandatory military service in South Korea. Fans argue that it's entirely possible he wasn't aware of Sugar's situation when he made the post. After all, as a soldier, his access to outside news might be limited. Another point fans are making is that Aim has consistently shared updates about his solo work, even while serving. To them, this post was just another routine update, and the timing was an unfortunate coincidence, rather than a deliberate choice. What's more, Many believe that blaming Arm for something he wasn't directly involved in is simply unfair. The idea of guilt by association doesn't sit well with a lot of armies, who feel that Arm shouldn't be criticized for what his teammate did. The voice of reason among fans is growing louder, with many asking online communities to stop hating for the sake of hating. After all, Arm deleted the post almost immediately, suggesting that he didn't intend to cause any harm or upset. So. What do you think about this situation? Was I'm just a victim of bad timing? Or do you think the criticism was warranted? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest in K-pop news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're covering a serious situation involving GOT7's Mark Chuan. Disturbing allegations have surfaced against someone allegedly connected to his team, and Mark has officially responded. Earlier this week, a man who was reportedly Mark's personal trainer and friend, Calvin Fan, found himself at the center of some shocking accusations. According to an anonymous post, Fan allegedly used private content from GOT7 members to try and hook up with women and even attempted to contact minors. The news quickly spread online, with many fans voicing their concerns and sharing their own experiences. The situation became so alarming that Mark's management company, DNA Management, decided to step in and address the issue directly. On August 8th, DNA Management released a statement confirming that they were aware of the allegations against Calvin Fan. They clarified that Fan is a former trainer and not a part of the DNA team. The company emphasized their commitment to protecting Mark's safety and privacy and mentioned that they are exploring legal measures to address the situation. Mark's fans have also played a crucial role in bringing this situation to light. DNA Management thanked those who provided information and reassured fans that they are doing everything possible to prevent something like this from happening again. Mark recently wrapped up his The Other Side World Tour and continues to be involved in various projects. This incident, however, serves as a reminder of the importance of safeguarding the privacy and well-being of artists, especially in the face of such serious allegations. What do you think about this situation? How should artists and their management handle such serious allegations? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all the latest updates of your favorite K-pop stars. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next video.